use the park almost every day. Anybody I bring down there, they're like, oh my gosh, they had no idea that it was here. Feels like we're in the middle of the North Woods. So I kind of call it the boundary waters of Bloomington. As we were walking, we saw the snapping turtle laying eggs in the middle of the path, digging the hole to lay her eggs. Every time we go walking down there, it lets me be wild and free, and I enjoy seeing all the animals down there. What I love most about this park is it's a wild oasis right in the heart of the city. You don't have to drive far. You've got absolute beautiful terrain. You feel like you're someplace else. And as an artist, you couldn't ask for a better studio. I used to spend many, many hours hiking down in the Minnesota River Valley with my cameras. And I was a serious photographer. I mean, I had my own color darkroom. I actually live in Eden Prairie, but my sister-in-law told me about Nine Mile Creek. So my wife and I, we end up coming to Bloomington because the parks are close to us and we're familiar with them and we love them. I recently took a Minnesota Master Naturalist class because I knew this referendum had been passed and I wanted to understand the ecosystem here and how I could best act as a steward to it. You forget that you're in the middle of a metropolitan area when you're here and it's one of the last bastions of natural habitat in a first ring suburb in our area. When my kids are really little, one thing I absolutely love about Nine Mile Creek is when you get down to the creek area, it's a good 10 degrees cooler than anywhere else in the city. When we walked on the creek, we found some tracks in the snow of a mouse, low mouse tracks that ended very abruptly with some wing tracks of a hawk. And the story was told right there in the snow. We moved here in the late 70s, raised three sons. They spent most of their growing up years in the woods down by the creek. We can walk about a mile and get down to the creek and go along it and enjoy its beauty. I heard an owl the other day. I opened up my Merlin app and recorded all the birds that are here for the migration. It's just me and the water and the birds. 